Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Ease 2 Chronicles. Last time we made our way through the subterranean canal, and we're finally out of there! Oh, hey, there's Keith. Huh, we were looking for you. Oh, the Campanile of Lane, and the sacrificial ritual with Maria. Lovely. Oh no, so she's not dead yet. Maybe we can save her? Oh, and Zoth is here too. Yikes! If you recall, Zava was the lady that, um, we eavesdropped on back at that meeting way back when we first got here to the, uh, Shrine of Solomon. I'll do my best. I wonder what his deal is with this Maria chick. He really seems to like her. So anyway, here we have two new enemies, the Shardawans or whatever, and then these sword guys, the Valkyrias. And I am going to definitely grind on them, um to get up to level 48 at least. Basically, I'm going to start at this fountain. I'm going to run back and forth uh, through this little bridge right here, just bashing into all of them and then stopping at each corner, restoring my HP, and then running back to the fountain. And then probably saving every time I go back to the fountain just to, you know, make sure I don't die or anything. So that's all I'm going to do. It shouldn't take me that long, and I'll meet you in a minute. Well, that was easy enough. It took me about five minutes, so yeah, not long at all. Oh, the goddess's palace. Huh. Oh, wow, finally. Okay, don't mind if I do. Oh, it's more goddess statues. Oh. And like some holograms or something? Oh, okay. Wow, you're still not there. Yeah, so we're still not in the core of this shrine. Man, this shrine is huge. I guess that would be the Golden Pendant. Oh. Oh, okay. So one of the person, people who returned to stone carries the uh, Golden Pendant. And then the Campanile is an item called the Dreaming Idol. Oh, okay. So if we can get the Dreaming Idol, we can undo petrification. Gotcha. Okay. Well, that sounds easy enough, I guess. Hey, yeah, and we get fully healed. So as you're doing your grinding, if you want to go over here first and use that place as a healing point, you can. I just thought that it was easier just to equip the little shroud and, um, you know, just do it that way. It was just simpler. I don't know. Anyway, these are the last two, um, normal, like, random enemies in the game. So keep that in mind and, um, yeah, use them to grind up as much as humanly possible. Now, before heading in here... Uh, let's see. I want to make sure that I have the Falcon I Idol equipped. That was the last treasure that we got last time. It says that it focuses fire magic with greater accuracy, but it also increases the strength of um, your fire magic, which is very nice because every single time you fight one of these bosses, God forbid we actually, you know, use um, swords, we have to use fire magic. And this boss can be pretty difficult, so I would suggest equipping the Smoked Meat for that, uh, full HP restoration. Also have some herbs, because you're probably going to need to use those too, because this upcoming boss can be pretty, pretty hard. Oh. Um, yeah, I guess so. Oh, well, we were kind of eavesdropping on you earlier. Son of men? Don't you mean son of man? Hmm. Uh-oh. Yikes. Ooh, these guys are creepy. Uh-oh. And here we are. We're fighting Zava and her little bats themselves. So basically what you want to do is kill these bats as fast as humanly possible. If you attack Zava, um, she's immune to, to hits right now. She's immune to sword hits and she's immune to fire as well. And what she's going to be doing is ah, summoning bats. She starts off with two of them. Then once you kill two of them, then three will come, so you want to kill those three. Ah. Then once you kill those three, four of them are going to come. Yeah, it's really obnoxious. But then once you kill those four, <laughs> then you can finally, you know, actually attack Zava herself. So, whoa. You gotta avoid the bats, you gotta avoid, whoa, the um, projectiles as well. And although 
the little falcon thingam thingamabopper will increase your fire attack power. It will also um, create like a homing wah, thing, um, making it, yikes, kind of difficult to actually attack the bats that you want to. Yeah, it seems like every time that I'm hitting it, it's like hitting Zava or it's like almost just getting to where it's hitting her or um, just, just missing the bats or something. It's really annoying. Yikes. Uh, let's see, got some herbs here. Yeah. Oh man, this guy is hard. Oh, come on, I want to kill the freaking bats. It's, it's, it's like constantly going against Zava. It's really ridiculous. Okay, there we go. Come on. Woohoo, we got him. So now Zava is going to uh, come out here and start attacking me, but once she does that, yeah, she's pretty much toast. Just blast her to death. You're fine. Whew, man. That was pretty tough. Woohoo! But we gained a level for doing it. Guys, level 49 now. Wow. Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, and they said at the fifth toll, Maria dies. And who are you? Oh, it's Maria. Oh, no. We're gonna try our best to save you. I mean, we're gonna do something. We gotta try something. Oh. Oh. Well, maybe we could stop time. That might help. <laughs> Did you see that? It had like a little message above our head and it said, Maria is not abused. Yeah. Uh, I guess stopping time won't work. So that kind of sucks. So now we need to go all the way up through this Campanile of Lane, and, uh, yeah, it's just a long, narrow hallway, so keep that in mind. Keep in mind where, where Maria is, because I will be meeting you back at Maria, and, um, there's also something else in here that I'll be meeting you back at, uh, and we'll get to that soon enough. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Two times now. Yikes! That treasure chest right there with that little barrier that we cannot get to. I'll be meeting you back there as well. So, again, just keep that in mind. I wish that these stairwells weren't so narrow. It makes it really hard for me to go through them and it just slows down my roll, you know? Oh, man. Third time. Wasn't Maria also a sacrifice in Arcarize Fantasia? I want to say it was, like, Surge's sister or something, but she, like, ran away or got abducted or something? I don't remember. Even though I love that game, I have memory issues. At this, yeah. at this point, everybody should know that. Uh-oh. We stopped this ritual? Lofty Mountains? No, that's a different game. Oh, okay. Well, sure. Explain your evil plan to me. Oh, so is Maria one of their descendants? guess so. Huh. So this is just an excuse to kill off all the priest's descendants. Oh, and I guess Sada is probably a priest, too. Oh. So they're basically just randomly sacrificing people. They don't even know if she's one of the priest's descendants or not. Oh. Huh. Yeah, pretty much. Uh-oh. Yikes. And for whom does the bell toll? It tolls for Maria. Oh no. Whoa, what's going on now? It was just a bell. How much significance could it possibly have? What just happened? Did Maria just die? Yikes! Oh, well, that sucks. Okay, well, there's stuff that we can do here, but we can't go ahead and get that treasure! Well, back here, the little barrier is down, and hey, we get the dreaming idol that the goddesses wanted us to uh, have. Now, at this point, you could go ahead and teleport back to the goddess's shrine if you want to with your return magic. It's uh, a spot now, but I don't want to do that. I want to go see Maria. Oh. 
god. So it really did just kill her. Wow, that's awful. Poor girl. I guess there really was nothing that we could do. Edel doesn't seem so broken up about it, though. Well, hey there, goddesses. We got that dreaming idol. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the black pearl. Well, we had the black pearl. But then we gave it to... Keith. Huh. And then he kind of charged away with it. Oh. Huh. But then I think that little brat took it up, too, so... Let's go ask him about that. Let's head back to Ramia Village. And see if Tarf maybe has the Black Pearl. Because I don't think that Keith held on to it, because if he did, he would still be, like, bestial right now. And he's not. He's, you know, sane. Yeah, we're kind of looking for that Black Pearl. You don't really have much of a memory, do you? I... Yeah. That's exactly right. Oh, you have it. How convenient. You useless piece of shit. I hate kids in JRPGs. I hate them so much. Every single freaking time that you think that they're going to come through with for you, they're just going to screw you over. Oh, I hate them so much. And you don't even know where you dropped it. Urgh. So you had it when you came into the village. And you're playing around with it when you talk to the guy with the funny eyes, the guard. Okay. Yeah, I did notice that the guard does have kind of some funny eyes, too. Mm. I hate you. Oh, well, maybe the guard does have it. But you know what? Screw you, kid. Ugh! Die! God! Ugh! I hate kids and JRPGs. Oh, I hate them so much, I hate them so much, I hate them so much! Ugh, oh, do you have the Black Pearl? Please? Oh. Great. Dallas has the Black Pearl. Lovely. Isn't this just wonderful? Yeah, this is just the story of my life, isn't it? Okay, well, he's probably back in the Shrine of Solomon. They always are, so let's head on inside. Again! Oh! Okay. Huh. I wonder if it was the Black Pearl? Hmm. And apparently he brought it to that meeting place. So, yeah. We need to head all the way back to Fax Scepter, which isn't that far to go to, but... Yeah, it's just annoying that we have to continually go here. Okay, let's see. Oh, you know what? I'm totally going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's see. There we go. You know, I I've gone this way multiple times now. I'm like, I think it's like, this is like my fourth time going over to the fag sector. And I'm still getting lost. Yeah. Uh, this, this shrine, this whole... Like, okay, you thought that Darm Tower was bad, but, like, this place got nothing on Darm Tower. I have to go through this shrine, and then the canal, and then the shrine, and then the canal, and then the shrine, and the canal, and oh my god! It's just never-ending. It really is. Okay, but anyway, we need to go to that meeting, which I believe is, yeah, right down here inside of this room, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna slaughter everyone in my path. Hey! Oh! Sweet! Nice! Okay, now that we got that, let's uh, return back to the uh, goddess's palace, let them know that, hey, you know, we have it, but what do we do with it? How do we use it? How do we uh, restore everybody back to their uh, previous states? Again? Seriously? Uh... Oh, the final battle. Oh, okay. Huh. So, yeah, we are getting towards the end. Oh. I'll do my best. But first, we have to climb back up that campanile where the uh, bell tower is, so I'll just meet you up there. 
Well, I've made my way up here to the top. Let's see, we do go ahead and equip that dreaming idol. Uh, where is it? There it is. Perfect. Oh. Whoa. Ooh, got some more experience. Sweet. And that should uh, heal everybody's petrification. But what items do they have to give us? And can we actually defeat Dallas? Find out next time on Let's Play Ease 2 Chronicles. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.